Japan has recently announced their successful test fire of its maritime medium caliber electromagnetic railgun. This world first railgun firing test from a ship at sea has the potential to significantly bolster Japan's point defense capabilities. In this video, we take an in-depth look at the medium caliber electromagnetic railgun while exploring the underlying motivations fueling Japan's development of this advanced weaponry. Let's dive right in. Railguns use electromagnetic forces generated by electrical power to propel non-explosive projectiles at hypersonic speeds. This technology relies on two parallel conductors, or rails, to accelerate a sliding armature, creating a circuit and launching projectiles capable of penetrating steel and concrete. When compared to conventional chemical propellant-based gun systems, railguns offer enhanced performance with higher velocities for superior accuracy and extended range. Their design usually results in reduced weapon size, quicker firing rates, and improved survivability thanks to the absence of combustible propellants. Although still in the research phase, Japan's defense ministry aims to employ this technology for safeguarding vessels against both aerial and surface threats, using the high-speed projectiles. This effort is part of the Defense Build-Up Program, launched in December 2022, which places a strong focus on bolstering defense capabilities using cutting-edge technology, such as railguns, high-power microwaves, and laser-based weapons, highlighting Japan's multifaceted strategy for countering any kinds of threats. As reported by Nikkei Asia, Japan additionally plans to develop a magnetic projectile-based missile interception system as a response to the escalating hypersonic weapon threat posed by China, North Korea, and Russia. Now, let's go back to the recent maritime test fire. The offshore test, conducted from an undisclosed Japanese Navy ship, was the outcome of substantial research and financial investments in railgun technology. While precise details about the test event are limited, it's important to highlight that Japan unveiled their first land prototype of a medium-caliber electromagnetic railgun back in 2018. With a capacity to launch 40mm steel projectiles, each weighing 320 grams, at a velocity of Mach 6.5. The prototype utilizes 5 megajoules of charge energy. Then, earlier this year, the Japanese Navy secured a 10.8 million yen contract for the temporary installation of railguns on ships, marking a significant step in their future railgun research. The contractor's identity remains undisclosed, but Shefford Media cites inside sources that strongly suggest that Japan Steelworks is a critical contributor to this ambitious railgun project. While it remains uncertain which vessels Japan might ultimately equip with railguns, should they advance to operational status, the country has previously indicated the potential integration on certain destroyers, including sub-variants of the Atago-class guided missile destroyers. Some sources also note that there's the possibility of these weapons being installed on Japan's forthcoming multi-purpose missile defense vessels. Japan remains dedicated to electromagnetic railgun technology, even as the US has ceased its research on two designs one by BAE Systems and the other by General Atomics, due to budget cuts in the Navy's fiscal year 2022 budget, among other factors that we may explore in future videos. Japan's commitment to railgun development is increasingly vital, considering the expanding threats it confronts in the Indo-Pacific, particularly from North Korea and China, and their growing missile arsenal. Other countries currently working towards fielding railguns include Turkey and China, so, what do you think about the rise of railgun technology? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.